2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Bluff Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player starts their round in the lead. What's the game plan for them today? Yeah, it's right now the game plan is working, but they still have to go out there and play off the front foot, play on offense, and not worry about who's chasing them. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Yeah, they're planning an aggressive play here, guys. Going for it in two. Not far from the green here, just in the greenside rough. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Well, that's an early statement right there. I've never been disappointed by starting off my round with a birdie, Luke, I can tell you that. And a quick glimpse at the leaderboard now, and this player holds the lead, with Brooke Henderson close behind in second. This hole here is a par four. Well, let's see if they can roll off that birdie at the last. Lovely momentum here. That drive, heading straight towards the cut stuff. And he's down there. The wind is at their back on this one.
Came with the 9-iron, I think. Not a bad play, that one. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. Oh, so close. This one just outside seven feet to the hole. This is important. Big par putt here. Looks good off the blade. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. John, do you have any info down there? Hey guys, we are checking in with Bubba Watson as he gets set for his next shot here on the 12th. And this putt is for birdie. This is on a stupendous line. Just didn't drop. And let's see what that super shot did to the leaderboard. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. Going with the seven. Feeling strong, going for less club. Okay, that'll work. Would need to make a long putt to secure a birdie. That'll sting a bit. Can't believe he did that. That drives you bonkers as a player. If you can make this one, it's for par. They're nicely hold. Currently 13 under for the event. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. This one should find the rough. And he how's that ball lying? They'll have to get their best bunker technique out here because this is nasty. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Beauty of a chip shot there. Judging it beautifully. Big pass saver coming up for this fella. And in she goes. 
That's a good save. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee. Great recovery. Well, this, this is a very long putt. That's it. And how did that great shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a seven-stroke advantage. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? That should find the fairway. Second shot here on the fifth. Lovely effort, that. And here we are with the third shot. Nice recovery there. Great touch. What an opportunity to make a birdie. He's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. Setting the tone early in this round. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. To me, the short par four is the most underrated hole in all of golf. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Now the breeze has just got up. You see where the flags are flickering and it's straight back up into this player. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Oh, what a big putt to make that one. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Leading by eight strokes now after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the seventh.
Beautiful swing there. Elevated greens are always difficult to approach. Make sure you got the right number. And choosing the eight iron here. Yeah, that was a safe play. And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this putt 16 feet from the cup. He's staring down a birdie putt here. This one's looking good. Ooh. And that should secure the par on this one. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Hey guys, we are checking in with Bubba Watson as he gets set for his next shot here on the 17th. Come on, don't be shy. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is up by a whopping seven shots now. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Looks to be going with the five iron. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. Outside chance here for the birdie. He's on a good line. No, that's too bad. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. And there it is. He sits in first position. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Second shot here on the ninth. Going with the five wood. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. He 
Kate, steady now. An opportunity to make their par. Well, I'm interested in my buddy Beamer's thoughts at this duel after nine holes. Luke, so far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head to head. Not too sure exactly how this is going to play out. But so far, so good. Love watching these two compete. The tempo there was exquisite. Playing from around 210 yards here. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Now, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. Long way away from the hole if they want to make the birdie, though. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Fair effort. Ooh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And down it goes. And with that hole finished, they're currently in the lead, with Brooke Henderson following in second. And an opportunity awaits as they step onto this tee of the par three. Choosing the 9-iron here. Well, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. You can mark it down. That's booty number four today. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. And coming off the booty, they'll be proud of themselves. A chance to keep it rolling.
good shot there. Time for the second shot at the 12. That was wonderfully done. Getting ready to play their third. They need to flight this one down into the wind. And how about that for confidence? Going right at the pin here in the midst of their rivalry with Bubba Watson. Love seeing that sort of play. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. Tweet, tweet. This is for two birdies. That starts off on a good line. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. leading by a potentially insurmountable 11 strokes after that one. Not sure why I said potentially. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. From around 170 yards here. Wynn moving right to left on this shot. Looks to be going with the six iron. All right, going with a little bit more club. Let's see. Gee, it's metronomic here. Green after green. Gee, golf looks easy when you're playing like this. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. That was a gallant attempt. Putting for par. Well, it was a wonderful approach shot, wasn't it? But unfortunately having to settle for par. Still in the lead now after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Nicely done. Playing from around 160 yards. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. <laughs> Going with the eight iron here. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe.
fought against the wind to stick that one. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? This is downhill, can't be too bold. And that will drop in for birdie. And a quick glimpse at the leaderboard now. And this player holds the lead, with Brooke Henderson close behind in second. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine nine. A nice approach shot there. Pin high inside the range. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. Ouch, that hurts. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Nice little par putt here. There it is. That finds him in first place. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. And what are we looking at here, Henny? This is down breeze, so it's going to be tough to stop it on this green. Opting for the hybrid, I think. This one's heading left, I think. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. Well, it'd be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Mm, good chance this one, right on six feet. Ooh, nice line. Well, that'll play. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. off here on the 17th hole standing on this par four and leading 
What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. Ooh, sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough. Wow, did this come out beautifully. Not a bad approach, that one, up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. See, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hole. Putting for a par here. Yeah, this is looking nice. This player must be in heaven. Their lead is now 11. Always the toughest hole in the game. A long par four. Oh, that's a sweet-looking swing, that one. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? You're going to need one or two clubs more because this green is sitting up. Opting for the five wood. <laughs> Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Good putters will make these right on five feet. And that signs off on today's round. Through 54 holes, this wonderful golf continues. Our leader in the clubhouse. Yes, Luke, it's a very strange position to be in because you feel like it's yours to lose, but it's also yours to win. I mean, which way are you looking at it? Hopefully, they're thinking it's mine to win and I'm going to grab it tomorrow. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.